Ciao, ciao, Svima. How you doing? It's Charles. I'm in my girlfriend's apartment. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? I'm here in a little place that I like to stay here in Niche because uh, I know the owner. He's a very good guy. Uh, so I just got down here to Niche, and you can probably tell by my voice, you haven't seen me on YouTube for a while. It's been about seven days now since I made the video about that train going into Kosovska Mitrovica. Uh, but man, I have had a vicious illness, and I cannot shake this thing, man. Uh, it, it's rough. I have got stuff in my lungs, and that stuff will not come out. I stayed in bed. This hit me really hard on Wednesday of last week. We had one of those managers from the United States over here, my boss in Nantucket. He came here to hire some students. Loved it here in Serbia. He's coming back next year for three months. He's going to learn Serbian language and live here. So see, this place is addictive for foreign people. Uh, but uh, Wednesday night, uh, I took him out to eat with some people. Next day, Thursday, I didn't go into work. I was sick. I stayed in bed all goddamn day. Dizziness, aches, uh, stuff in my lungs, uh, dizziness, um, just coughing up gunk. Then Friday, I had to go into work because I had a bunch of stuff going on. So I had to go in and give some classes. And then... Uh, I just uh, some English classes, and then after that, I went home. I was in there for maybe three hours, and I went right back home, went right into bed. I didn't eat hardly anything. And then Saturday, all day long, I was in bed. I stayed in bed. I got up three times to get some Fedvex, to get like some juice and uh, something else. But, and then on Sunday, all day long in bed. I got up, uh, sorry, I lied. In the afternoon, I got up and cleaned my apartment, did some laundry. I felt a little bit better. And then today, which is Monday, I had to come down here to Niche. And uh, it's the problem is, going from Novi Side down to here, I had to be outside a lot. I had to walk all over the city of Niche here. And it's cold down here. I mean, the, the wind is bitterly cold. And, I mean, it's, <coughs> it's tough. <coughs> But I, I promised I was going to see a doctor, but I haven't seen a doctor yet because the other day my friends kept messaging me. A couple of my buddies kept annoying me because they kept wanting me to go to the doctor. But I'm kind of an asshole. I don't like to go to doctors. I just never have never liked the doctor thing. It's not like it's, it's, it's cheap here. I mean, hell, you could go to a doctor here for $200 and you could have your freaking arm fixed, broken arm probably fixed for $200. Uh, but... I just don't like to go, and I didn't feel good enough to go. I know that sounds stupid. That's what my friend said. He said, no, you got to go. He said, if you don't feel good enough to go, that's when you need to go to the doctor. You don't want to go when you feel good. But I said, I don't care. I'm not going. I'm staying in bed. If I die, I die. But I survived it. Uh, and, and now I've I'm, I'm, I'm just got a little bit of the sweats still, but I walked all around. Uh, but what else was the point of what I was getting ready to tell you about the doctor? Oh, yeah. Okay, talking about a doctor here and a doctor in the USA. You know this beautiful little finger here that's deformed that everybody knows about if you watch my videos that I broke by shaking a man's hand with his left hand? Uh, this, we got the bill for this. I don't know if I ever told this, but this finger's useless now. I cannot use it. The I went and saw one lady watches my video. She's the main lady, I'm not going to say. She just wanted me to say where she's from. I'll get in trouble. She looked at it. She bent this thing every direction and she said, yeah, we can do surgery on it here, but she said, you're going to have to every day bend it, bend it all over. And so I can't do that because it's annoying. Uh, so I've got a deformed finger for the rest of my life. Do you know how much this cost in the United States of America to get this just fucked up finger? All they did is put that brace on it. If you watch my videos from uh, September August and September of this year, you'll see that little brace, $915 is what that cost. I was in the emergency room for three hours waiting. The doctor comes up. He says, have somebody seen you? I said, no, I've been in here for an hour. They take me back to x-ray. I was in x-ray for 10 seconds. 
Then I go back and sit out in the hallway. They didn't even have a room for me. I sat in the hallway for another hour, and then the doctor comes by. He said, uh, did, did they take care of you? I said, I haven't heard anything yet. He said, oh, okay, we'll get the results. He went back there, looked at the results. Then he brought a nurse out. He said, well, this, the nurse is going to discharge you. The nurse brings out this little brace, and, and the nurse says, you put that on. He said, I don't want to cut off your circulation. So I put the thing on myself. He gave me the discharge papers. I left. I come back here to Serbia about... Two months ago, I get my first bill. It goes to my parents' house. All my mail I have sent to my parents in the USA. And so mom kept sent, she sent me a message. She said, Charlie, you got something from the Nantucket Hospital. I said, what? That's supposed to be workman's comp. The bike shop's paying for it. She said, well, it's here in your name. So I said, open it. She opened it. She said, it was $910 they charged just for that. And here in Serbia, oh my God, for $900, you can have your head replaced probably if they do that. Uh, but anyway, make a long story short, I'm down here in Nish, and I, I went over uh, to a pharmacy here. There's, it's an apotheca is what it's called here uh, in Serbia. That's a pharmacy. And the lady in there was very nice, and I told her, I said, Izvini, jako malo pričem srpski, ja sam stranac, bolestan. I said, kako se kaže lungs na srpskom? And she said, I forget even now what the goddamn word is. But I told her I had problems in there. So, she gave me some antibiotic, which I don't know. I don't know if, I, if this is, I think I've got pneumonia is what I have. She said what she would do is take these. So I got something called hemomycin. Hemomycin. There's only three pills. And she said in here, one times one. I guess I take these one, one per day or what? One times one. Three tablets. Or maybe I'll take them three in one day. I don't know. I need to find out this. I'll read. I'll look up the instructions. But there's three pills. This, I got some cough syrup, she said, which would be good. Called syrup od jagor chevni. Chevni. Složeni. Must be some flower. Looks like a lily or something, doesn't it? So this is what I got, but, but here in Serbia, you know how much this cost? Antibiotic in this, guess how much this was, okay? In the United States, we know how expensive, ridiculous things are. Here, this was $4. Chetristo desit dinara, which is 410 dinara, or about $4.10. So Serbia is so much more reasonable, you know? Uh, but anyway, I'm down here in Nish. It's cold, it's chilly, and I'm not going to be able to see too many people because I don't feel good, and I'm going to be here for a couple days, and I'm going straight to Kragujevac. I'm going to be in Kragujevac for a couple days, and then I'm going to be back in Novi Sad, and then I'm going to be in Belgrade, so I'm going to be all over the place. So anyway, I just wanted you to see that I'm still alive uh, for now. Uh, so hopefully you'll see me again. Anyway, my friends, thanks. Thanks for your patience. I know a lot of you keep messaging me and tell me I haven't made a video, and now you got this boring one just talking about how me bitching and crying about how sick I am. Anyway, that's it, my friends. Do Virginia.